acceptable. Now, is this the best we could do? Actually, this is the most least we can do, the Bible says, is to present ourselves. When we think of all he has done for us, he died and he rose and he took our place. This is the least thing we can do. Present ourselves to him as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing. And not a one-time thing. Not a one-time thing. But to present our bodies to God as a living sacrifice daily. Daily to present ourselves. Amen? Can we stand and can we open up service? Mugodad, what a God you are. Mugodad, you're the one and only true, real God. Mugodad, you're the God that created the universe just by his words. Mugodad, you're a God, Mugodad, that doesn't need anything. Mugodad, Mugodad, human hands can't serve you. Mugodad, and you know all our needs. Mugodad, for before your riches and glory. And now, Mugodad, we, we want to present you, Mugodad, a true sacrifice. Mugodad, a sacrifice that's holy, that's pleasing, and that's acceptable. Mugodad, we failed, Mugodad. But I thank you, Mugodad, for your son that died and took our place on Calvary, Mugodad. And now, Mugodad, we want to offer you a true sacrifice of worship, of honor, and of praise. Receive your glory today. Receive your honor today, Mugodad. Manifest yourself to us, Mugodad. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. Can we give the Lord a clap offering?
Oh, you are my 
as we come boldly with honor and reverence for we worship Christ our King Lord here in your presence I love to worship you 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 Yes, I do I love to worship you Forevermore I love to worship you Lord, Surely the presence of my Lord is in this place. I can feel His mighty power and His grace. I can feel the brush of angels' wings, and I see glory on each face, and surely the presence of my Jesus is in this place surely the presence of my Lord is in this
Thank you, Lord. Amen. How many is enjoying the presence of the Lord? God is enjoying your presence. How many believe that? How many believe there's healing in the presence of the Lord? How many need something from God today, spiritually, not physically? He's there to provide all the time, but I'm talking spiritually. How many need to get closer to the Lord today? How many need more dependence on Him? How many more people today need to call upon the Lord? On the Ektan, in reverence of our Lord and Savior, how do you start on the Ektan? Thank you, Lord. Don't let it be a song. Let it be a prayer. Amen? Don't let this be a sing-along. Let this be a prayer, Kamarodil. I don't know about you, but I need more strength. I need more presence of God in my life. Choir. Thank you, Lord. Worship, Lord. The sun that is stood on the face. We need you. We need you more, Mugodat. We need your presence, Father. Shuen to duho. Chest of love. And then move all evil. You filled our hearts, Lord. He's here in this place tonight, church. To guard that man of all. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, 
Jesus, my God. Say, can we? So do you want me? Without your spirit, Devla, we would not go forward, Mogodad. And then move on, be Lord. So in todo Christo to dan man tayo. We believe that tonight, Father. I guess. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Father. Send into Maritana for Jason Glenny Warba. Sukai Mos, I guess. God bless you, choir. Something we was taught from the very beginning. Who is the Holy Spirit? You'd be surprised, Pushes Jenin, I guess, Concil Suento Dujo. And they'll tell you he's part of the Trinity. It has power. He it saves you. And push my, push my, and they probably won't know. And I can musa janas, but musa te hararas con si odujo ande marotrayo. Musa mo tal to me gadi ka mechanic ka shalom mobili. Ka na shalom mobili, he has to, in some way in his life, ka na sas no go, he used to break things. He used to break things, open them apart, te hararo, the mechanics, the, the, the way of the engine. And he could put it back together. And there's something in Christianity that we need to understand. So do la mezor. What makes us resist? What makes us stay strong, stay on the path of righteousness? 
Yes, there's prayer, but there's something that we know is the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people don't know who is it. First off, the Holy Spirit is not a what. It's not an it. I hear a lot of people put in, it saves me. He's not a what, an it. He's not a thing. He is a person. He is the person of God. He's the spirit of God, Motolo Bible. He's the spirit of truth. And a lot of Christians do not operate in the spirit. She had an insosi duho. Motautaminga, I guess, if your worship is only katana kangri, if it's just a song, that's no worship at all. Worship is a lifestyle, kangrio. That's what pleases God. The greatest worshiper in the Bible was not a choir, it was Abraham, because he was obedient to the Lord. And I guess we're going to understand the difference, who is the Spirit of God and how does He function, who is He, what does He want from me, what is His plans. Because it seems like a kangare, I guess, that the Holy Spirit takes a back seat to everything else in the church. And today we're going to understand how important the Spirit is and who He is and how powerful He is. Motaha was there from the beginning. He was there when creation started. He was there, kind of Dil, let us make man in our image. What image? Five foot ten, 220 pounds? No. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Three but one. Iame, body, soul, and spirit. That image. So the Spirit of God, He's a person. The Trinity. I'm not going to explain the Trinity today because it's very complex, it's very hard, but we understand it. We don't understand it, but we Accept it, amen? He's from the Godhead. He is. And we're told the Bible that he can be lied to. He can be grieved. He can be sorrow, saddened. That sounds like a person to me, amen? And he has many, many titles. The Bible told him that his title is the author of Scripture. He's the comforter, the counselor, the spirit of God, the spirit of truth, the comforter, the spirit, the teacher, the witness, and so on and so forth. You see him throughout the Bible. You see him in the Old Testament. You see even David, don't take your spirit away from me. It just didn't happen on the day of Pentecost. It didn't come out of nowhere. He was always there. He was there from the beginning. So why a lot of Christians today do not operate in the spirit? They don't move with the gifts of God. Well, Bible told you don't have because you don't ask. And before we go any further, because this is a very sensitive subject, Dushmano does not like that. He doesn't like the Word of God entirely. But when you're getting serious to get your relationship closer to God and to walk, to be a man and woman of God, Dushmano doesn't like that. So the first thing we have to do today is shut off our cell phones. Can we all, please, if you're not using them for Bible applications, let's turn off our cell phones and let's keep the walking up and down minimal. I'm just here to share the truth. And don't, if you walk out there, you're not going to understand the Word of God. You're not going to know. You're going to ask somebody else. Amen? So let us mic that to go to the How do you start? The Wujisaman, the last Harimosa, and the Warba, which you may have made to Menga, to Wujin Manga. They don't do my Dilla Menga. Amen? Mogodad, we pray today, Father. For Lord, we know your Word is life. Your Word is everlasting, Devla. We pray against Mogodos Jido Maniek Manushka Sikate and the Kangari from the front to the very back, Mogodad. Asbale Mogodil. Father, let there be change today, Mogodil. Let it not be normalcy, Mogodil. Let it not be routine, Mogodil. But let it be an encounter, Mogodil, by your word, Father. Touch your people, Mogodil. The same, very same word that holds everything together. And the Gakalumia, Mogodil. Father, let your word touch, deliver your people, break the iron yoke of bond. Speak through me, Father. May I be that invisible vessel for you. And you receive all glory, all praise, and honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give God glory. Gosh, they go to see in Bible, John Monson of John, chapter 14 and 16. The disciples at the time, Nas perdevo to duho, perdele de vlesa la Christosa, hai penjale ngit na daran, kasita vela verik. When you're there, please say amen. We're going to get one amen, then we're going to read. John, chapter 14, verse 16. 
We got one person there. O Cristo me told for los disciples, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. Penemanza, another helper. We know that Christ was there to help them, to save them. He was a helper for them. But Pano, I'm going to give you another helper that he may abide with you forever, even better yet, abide in you forever. Amen? So the Casca did that. He's a helper. A Vedic scripture on John 16, 7 and 8, Motol. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage, to our advantage, that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, Pali Magdata, will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin. Somebody say amen. amen. And of righteousness and of judgment. We told the Bible that he will convict the world of sin. You ever were in a situation before Christianity you used to do, do it? Be It's like, okay, you did it. I know, no guilt, nothing afterwards. But how about because you gave your life to the Lord and you're, you're in a situation, I decuss. You heard that little voice, that soft voice, nah, chimol. And you pray, and you don't do it. And afterwards, like, praise God. Was that your conscience? No. Guys, you have no conscience. That's the Spirit of God. Whatever it was, you fell into that sin. And afterwards, you feel, joy. I got convicted by the Holy Spirit. Not good conviction, good see guilt. Because the Spirit of God convicts you before the actual sin. He's not going to let you do the sin and afterwards, Sokar John. No, that's you not listening to the Spirit of God before. So the Spirit of God will totally convicts the world of sin to do what? To judge, to condemn, not to save you and to prevent you from sinning. Amen? That's what He's there for. And we're going to learn that He has many titles. He's a guider, a teacher, a counselor. So the Kaskate, He's also a giver. He also gives. On the Bufari, Acts chapter 1 8, O Cristo Moto Jalinga. But you shall receive power. Pinamansa, power. That word power we know is the Greek word dunamis, which means dynamite. Amen? Just a little side note. I did a study a while ago back on the word dunamis. And what I found out later, dynamite was not for explosions. I mean, that was the cause of the dynamite. It was not to make a show, a big bang. Well, dynamite sauce for one reason, to shape mountains, to shape things, amen? It was not to explode and to cause disaster. It was there to shape and mold. In the same way, they, they, they would use dynamite to shape the mountains, to, to make, to dig tunnels, to run through, to have a purpose. Well, in the same sense, dunamis, the power of the Spirit of God, is here to shape and transform our lives into the very image of Christ Jesus, Amen? The Amplified Motol, ability, efficiency, and might. So that's the power. Delament ability. To do what? To resist, to serve, to carry, to be that witness. Special ability. Because Motol Dominga, Obay Motol, our will is against His. Our ways are totally different. We're not able to serve God. You're not ab able to forgive. You're not able to love. You're not able to carry your cross. It's only by His might and His power and the ability. Amen? Ability, efficiency, and might when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem. Naigodo, door knocker, hand greeter, and shaker. We, I think we said that when I was here last time. The word witness is martyr, martus, which basically means martyr, one willing to die for the cause. Well, how can anybody here today die for any cause? It's kind of hard. I know if you would lift up your hands easily if I say who would die for their children immediately. You won't even think twice about it. But how many would truly die for Christ? Well, in this time, in this era, these disciples, apostles, they actually died. They suffered. They didn't have it easy. Amaro's suffering today does not compare what they went through at all. We have it easy. Trust me. There's some countries that you cannot preach the word of God. In America, we are, we are blessed. In America, some blows in me. But what about witness meaning martyr, one willing to die for the cause, one who will lay down his life. You know what that means to me today, the most simplest version? Put God first in everything. 
Put your life down. You want to be a disciple, a follower, a witness of Christ? The Bible says, how do you know you're my disciples? When you love one another. Love is more than a four-letter word. It's an action. See, love is not, I love you, brother, but you never see, you never communicate with that brother or sister. Love is an action. When you do things, when you don't want to be heard for the glory of God. Amen. When you lift up the kingdom of God, when you visit people, when you share with them, and you show them compassion when nobody else is. You never visited me. You, you beat me. You did this and that. When we did this to you and didn't do. So go to Kirjan Linga or Chikarjan Kirjan Manga. Amen. But you only could be that. Only could do these things by the power and the ability. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mission. His mission was he came to die for man and make a way. Amen. So that we could be his witnesses and his followers. And the Holy Spirit's job is to give us the ability and power to carry it out. See, he said, you will be my disciple. Follow me. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross. They didn't do that immediately. They scattered. They were cowards. But until the day of Pentecost, we told the Bible, they were filled with fire. They were baptized. And the same Peter that denied Christ, that was the coward, was so courageous. The people, the Sanhedrin who stand before Christ and they crucified Christ and they put him in prison. And Mudardeles, Hachudeles, Putushul, Peter faced the same people. And the Bible says that Ustilo pray and with boldness, Motolo Bible, he started preaching the word of God. You know what boldness means? It's not yelling and screaming. People hear that today. Yo, che boldo, he's screaming. He's here. wow. No, boldness means chidaras. Chidaras katailumia. You don't hold back the word of God. You don't sugarcoat it. Because daras katarodel. Amen. And that's boldness that God is talking about. To be bold and don't, tra- don't conform and don't compromise the word of God. If it's your own family, because see, when you become a follower of God, when you are filled with the spirit of God, you're not going to be popular. You're going to lose some of your friends. People's going to make fun of you. They did it to Christ. He would preach a great message. They would scatter. The same people that praised them Put them on the tree. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit is a witness, Motolo Bible. Acts chapter 5, verse 32, Motolo Minga. And we are witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey Him. On a Romans chapter 8, Motolo, that His Spirit bears witness with our spirit. That we are children of God. So he's a witness. Remember, the Holy Spirit is in perfect harmony with God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in perfect harmony. In salvation, in sanctification, in the return of Christ, and the judgment of God's people and the rest of the world. He's in perfect harmony. He too is a witness. He's also a revealer. Reveal what? Reveal the truth. How many of you ever heard something, Warbai, Chiharajan, and Pastor Blaus even tried to explain it to you. And he's like, okay, Chiharadim. There's many things, guy, that I heard I couldn't understand. And then through a life or experience, Sakajama Oduko, I trail in a mende. Sakajama then chachis, chachis haradim that I couldn't get on nothing else. And he reveals, and he also reveals the plan of God in each and everybody's life. He reveals the mysteries of God. He reveals to us mysteries that were hidden before, but they were there in the Bible we just couldn't understand. He revealed to us a while ago back the difference between religion and relationship. He revealed to us the difference between just calling upon God and truly being saved. He reveals to us that it's not my will, but it's His will. He reveals to us it's better to be poor, and I don't mean money, but I mean in spirit, than to please God and to be renewed. Amen. He leads us into a deeper knowledge. He leads us into a deeper knowledge. This is the Spirit of God and gives us divine strength. The lament Zor that comes from up above. Zor that people gonna decompa in the in. Why is this brother, this sister? Why is still serving in the Devlis? Dik, look what's happening to them. Their family scattered. But they're still praising, they're still worshiping because they understand the plan of God.
What told the Bible that he intercedes? He intercedes on our behalf. Likewise, Romans 8, 26, Motol. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Amen. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings to deep, too deep for words. In other words, he speaks to God on our behalf. Remember, he's a helper. You know, when you're feeling a little weak and you can't go forward, he's the one that pushes you. Amen? When you, when you see that everything's this and you can't see where you're going, he lights your path. Amen? He illuminates the way for us. We have a warning here, Kangario. Jump on to Romans. I need you to read this. Romans chapter 8, verses 9. Romans chapter 8, verses 9. You, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. It's talking to Christians here. It's not talking to non-Christians. It's talking to Christians. If, in fact, the spirit of God dwells in you. I hope you catch that. Well, Paul told you, you, however, are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If, in fact, the Allah, the spirit of God dwells in you, anyone who does not have the spirit of God does not belong to him. Now here's where it's going to get a little dicey. And here's what the Lord's been showing us, revealing to us in these latter times. There was a time that we thought, and I know Pastor Blaus has been doing a dynamite job on salvation. That I may, Antunchi, give us, okay, confess, sinner's prayer, bold you to come to church, quit a couple of habits, and you're saved. Nagajai I wish it were so simple. It's a little more than that. O pitcher kay sa janas kay namo nakilo Kristo puwudar. Revelation 3:20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and lets me in, so on and so forth. It confused me for a while because I seen something that I never seen, and this is about five years ago. Devla, there's a there's something confusing me, kate. Saro Cristo, Mangala Vel Andre, unless trial, a Christian's life, how come he wants to come in when he was already supposed to be in there? So it, I scratched my head, I asked people, they couldn't really answer me. So the Lord revealed it to me. Because they were truly not saved. They accepted his word as far as he'll save you from hell. You'll have peace in your house. And it's the way everybody else is doing it. I need my family saved. And I've been called Dill in that mentality. And you know, whatever it takes to have us called Dill, but that shouldn't keep you there. It shouldn't keep you there. The relationship between God and man should keep you there. Amen? The relationship that we have with Christ Jesus should keep our relationship strong and nothing else. Not fear of losing your salvation. Not fear of me go to the familia or you're not part of the, the clique. Because you don't go to church. Katemo told, see if the Spirit of God is in you. Check, examine yourself on the 1 Corinthians 13.5 and see if the Spirit of God is in you. And we accepted Christ, we have the Spirit. No, because he wrote the letter to the church of Laodicea and he was not in. They depended on their wealth, on their, their good merit and everything that they had, their self-sufficiency. But Christ said, you say you are rich, you are poor, you say I clothed, you are naked, you say you see, you are blind. And he's not talking to the non-Christians. We use this scripture a lot for non-Christians. I'm sorry, it's not for the non-Christian. He's asking, Christian, let me in. Let me in your life. Because if I come in, I will give you the power of the Holy Spirit to regenerate your life, to give you life everlasting. Not to be just a follower of word, but to be a child of God. You heard it many times, night Christian is being a child of God. You know what Christian is? Judas was a Christian. Christian means follower. 
But we know what Christ told him. Satan has entered you. I was a Judas at one time. Dumut. I didn't know. Just followed everybody else. They were doing what I could do too. Just come to church and you're okay. Night, Kangari. I wish that was the I wish that was truth. The truth is, in his next attribute or his next thing, he's a regenerator, amen. He's a life giver. John 3:3. 3, 3. Jesus said it to Nicodemus, you must, I don't line the word must, be born again. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. You see, that's the step that every Christian has to take, that vital step. Spiritual birth. Most 20 years I've been a Christian and I've been born again. Well, here's, a, here's, here's a evidence. Is there evidence? Is there any fruit? Musa devil fruta. Not fruits with an S, but fruit. Someone might say, well, you know what? I have grace and patience, but I don't love my brothers. You have nothing. They're not nine fruits, it's one fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. The last one is self-control. If I do not have self-control, Kangario, please be mandital. If I'm always out of control and always influenced by the world and not by the Spirit of God, I stumble here and there because we all fall short of the glory of God. There's not one person in this place that is perfect. We're far from it. But are we born again? Are we truly saved? Did the Spirit come in my life? Is there evidence? If they put us on the witness stand, and Bushalam Eldel, Bushalam Anush, what makes you a Christian? Well, I go to church, I have a Bible, and I go quote a lot of scriptures. And if Pastor Blazo leaves, I could preach a message. No, that doesn't save you. That doesn't make you a Christian. It just makes you a parrot, a repeater. Are you saved? Is there evidence of your salvation? Do you truly have love in your life? Is there regeneration on your trial? Sukajo pe ka see fruit on your trial. Sukajo pe le patience. Sukajo o duko le devlesko. Do people see Christ in your life or do they see the same old person? The same old person come to church, leaves differently. Come to church, leaves differently. Because in church, let me tell you something. Everybody's the same. We're all thinking about God. We all love the songs. We're all worshiping. We're all singing. But what are you out there? See, God knows our heart. We judge from the outside, but God judges the heart and the intentions and the desires. Let me tell you, if you're born again, if you are touched by the Spirit of God, if you're born again, when you wake up in the morning, who do you think about? When you're driving your car, who's running to your mind all the time? So how to keep briga. Is it always self, 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 be on top of the world, do what I got to do? Or is it devla so tuka? Lord, who can I touch today by the word that I received? Lord, who can I pray for? See, a, a Christian, a child of God does things that a child of God should do. Pray, pray, seek the Lord. Amen? You must be born again. Many Christians know of God, but they're not born again. They're not born again. Many, many. But why? Jesus said it. Leave me in. Let me infuse life to you. Let me give you everlasting life. Get rid of this nonsense. Get rid of this religion. Get rid of this routine that you've been in, involved in so many years. And get to know me. Get to know the real me. Because I'm gentle and meek. I'm humble. I'm not the God who you made me out to be. You see, let me tell you something. Our God is a forgiver, amen? Amen, church? But there's some Christians that hold grudges, and they just can't let go. I'll deal with this side of the church, but I can't stand this side. That's not the God who we serve. God is colorblind. He doesn't see different nothing. He sees one person. He sees people that need to be saved. only caters to Rom. He caters to the whole entire world. Amen? We need to get to know this God. There needs to be a time of transformation at a Romani Kangari. It needs to not be a Romani Kangari no more. She put out, take out the respect of Marizat Molina. Keep those because those are from God. But start following His law. Start following His way. How come we don't know His way? Because maybe the Spirit of God is not in me. 
Maybe I just know the routine of church. Maybe I just know how to, how to look like to worship. Maybe I just know how to dress like a Christian, talk like a Christian, but not act like one. Church churches is very disheartening to God. And she double Fremont. This is a message for the whole entire world. It starts with me first. This is the message for Romania. There needs to be change. There needs to be change. But simultaneously, stop this and stop that and do this and do that and pray. It's not going to happen because we don't have the ability to change. We don't have the ability to do nothing. We can't change one hair on our head. But the Spirit does. He has the power to change us. He has the power to give us life, to conform us from wickedness to holiness. Amen? See, we need to be holy. Motolo Bible, without holiness, come on, finish it. No one will see God. He is the spirit of holiness. We need to be one with him. We just have us yik. We need to be in the same. We need to have the same mind. Romans 12, Janasso scripture, be not conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do you ever read the, the second part of that? So you know what is good and acceptable and, and the perfect will of God. You see, if we're not transformed, if we're not renewed, we will never know his will. And that's called revelation. He reveals the plans of the Father. He reveals everything about God. He reveals how great God is, how powerful God is, and that we're nothing without God. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So he's a regenerator. How many know in my Tzuluts I got some that there's three levels of gifts from God? I don't mean the gifts that are in, in Romans 12 and 1 Corinthians 12. But I mean there's three levels of gifts. Okay, here you go. Ready? Number one gift. God gave the gift of his son, Jesus. Would you agree with that? Amen? Come on, church. Would you agree with that? Is that a, the most precious gift of all the world is Jesus Christ wrapped up in a little manger? Amen? It's number one. Well, we just read the second gift. We told the Bible that Jesus gave the gift of the Spirit. Amen? That's two. That's two right there. God gave Jesus. Jesus also gives a gift. There it is right there. Okay, so what's the third gift? The third gift is the ability, the talent for service. It's not for salvation. These gifts are for service. You might ask yourself, how come I can't serve God? How come Chaches? I try, I try, but Perao, Javani Kangri, I get involved with the word and Bible study, I start praying, but then as soon as a week goes by, I just give in. And then Lo I know you get upset and you get mad. Devil, why am I that person? How come Nastipahum Gutrayo? Because maybe you're not operating the gifts, the gift of faith. To believe supernaturally, amen? The gift of ministering, amen? The gift of healing. There's so many gifts, I don't want to read them all, but they're in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, and then Romans 12 speaks of the gifts. And these gifts are for what? For service. So you can serve God. And we're told the Bible, He will choose what to give you. Because He's a giver. See, some of you might want to be a pastor. It's not going to happen if He doesn't see that. It's what he wants to give you. Well, I'm a nobody. I don't do nothing. I sit back at a church and I, you might be a greeter. The Bible says that's a gift. You know, I heard complaints, the most simplest thing, please usher in, that people went to church and they didn't feel welcomed. Till one brother came to them and gave them the greatest greeting of all. And they felt the genuineness and the handshake and the hug and they knew that it was real. And you know, they said, you know what, because of that man I came back to church. Palapeo, that's a gift. Amen? That's a gift. The Bible told me, you have not because you ask not. This Spirit of God, Mongo Dullaman, gives so that the church could fully function. You see, the church is not built on one, two men. It takes the whole entire church to run the church. 
You are a very important part in the body. You just have to realize it. You have to ask God, Devil, what am I here? Am I just here just to take up air? No, you're here for a reason. God has a plan for you. I don't care if you're sitting way back or sitting way front. God has a plan for you, and you have to realize it. But let me tell you something. It's going to hurt you because there's a change going to be happening. You see, Peter, Daranosas, Peter was a person, he's always the person that stood out and talked, was a representative for disciples. And God used that ability for a spiritual purpose. He was always, one Nashlo, he denied Christ three times. But what happened to Peter? Filled with the Spirit of God, and he confronted them. He standed for the truth. He preached the full gospel message. Amen. And that's what all God wants for us to speak the full gospel message. Now, what they full of us to roots and they worry about the shinas and they worry about this, take this, but don't this and don't know. We can't have it our way, Kangaroo. It's God's way or no way. You see, I know we like things a certain way. We like things a certain way. None, nobody here wants anybody to John and go cut and to move your furniture around. Come on, Google, though. Would you like coming home and all your furniture is all rearranged? You like your couch there. You put your TV in that corner. You want it there. You don't want nobody to rearrange your furniture. It's going to agitate you. Well, let me tell you, that's what the Spirit of God does. He comes inside of our life and He starts cleaning things around and starts rearranging your priorities. You see, you might put God second, third. He starts revealing to you that God has to be first because he put you first. He doesn't want to take the back seat. He wants to be Lord of all your life. We just have to listen to the Spirit. We have to listen. Kangrio. The hardest thing for Manush de Keren is change. You know why it's so hard to get two, your team manga, two old people that were not Kaisasa and Surmed as somebody else and they're trying to get together after 50, 30, 40 years of marriage somewhere else, your team manga, because they're set in their ways. You can't teach somebody else something else because they're set in their ways. Well, I don't like butter on my toast. I don't like your teeth getting up early. I relax and this and that, and you're telling me I got to do this. See, it's impossible, it's hard. But when you get somebody young, you teach them sukyon, right? Amen? Well, the same way, I mean, as Christians, we're set in our ways. We misinterpreted the word of God so many years. And I'm maridosh, naitu maridosh, it's our fault. It's our fault. I'll take the blame for it. It's our fault. I'm not embarrassed to say it. We messed up. We taught you one way and... and and we, we, I may only have one track mind. No, it's I'm saved and I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to serve. I don't have to witness. I don't have to be gentle. I don't have to be kind. I don't have to have self control. I don't have to read the Bible. That's the pastor's job. I don't have to pray. I don't have to fast. Only if I'm in trouble, Karagulabukya. You see, what part of serving God, what part of serving God do you do? What makes you a servant of God? Ask yourself a question. Look in the mirror. Don't look at one another. What makes me a servant of God? Ask yourself a question. Am I filled with the Spirit of God? Do I have the Spirit? Am I saved? Am I truly saved? Because let me see. Is there evidence of my salvation? Do people see that I'm saved? Do people see that I hide the Word of God in my heart? Is the Word of God in my heart? Is it governing my life? Do I wake up in the morning and say, Lord... You lead me today. You guide me, Mugodad. Or is it only when I need him? That's religion, Kangario. That's religion. And many of us will not make it like that. We have to die in order to live forever. We have to die. We have to die. We have to die here, church. Ain't no one's going to have to die today, Deek. Some of you might be agitated. I'm not going to change my ways because he's, I'm not saying nothing. I'm only repeating what the Bible's saying. We have to change our ways. There's two types of prayer today that we're going to need. Dick, I don't know anybody here as far as personal relationship that they've listened. Only you and God knows. And you have to ask yourself a question. Devla, if you going to take a visit to my house, would you be pleased with me? 
Would you be pleased with me, Lord, here, this house, what you're seeing, the effort that you see? Would you be pleased with me, Mugodat, the service that I've been given, the witness that I have been? Would you be pleased with me? What would God see? You already know. Can you stand up and say, no, I, I can't get any better. I'm doing so much for God. I came here with God and I can't go any further. That's a lie from the devil. We all can get closer to God. We all could do more for God. But it's only going to take one thing. Only one thing. Because there's a worldly influence and a divine influence. God cannot influence you if the Spirit of God don't live in me. He can't influence me if he don't live in me. Cannot. It's impossible. He has to take residency on the tute in your life. He has to have dominion in your life. Your desires have to be his desires. Your hunger has to be his hunger to do his will. Your mind's got to be, I'm only here temporary. I'm just passing through. This world, I'm an alien here. I'm passing through. Yes, I have a family, I have a house, but that's nothing. I know my home is there. And I know my day is going to be with the Lord when I spend with him forever. We got to change our attitude, Kangaroo. I'm going to tell you it's going to be uncomfortable. Because a lot of things will be redirected, changed in your life. But it's for the good of God. Choir, would you please come up? Thank you, Mugodad. Church, we have to talk to God today. God spoke to us today. Now it's our turn to talk back to Him. Let's speak to our Lord and Savior. Dijano. He knows everything already. But there's healing in confession. How many believe that? Sashtarimo see when we confess our wrongs to him. We tell him, Lord, I haven't been doing it your way. Because you know why? I've been doing it my way. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by the Spirit. Amen? Zechariah 4, 6. And we've been serving God with our might. What do you mean, serving God in our might? What does that mean? Doesn't the Bible say serve God with our heart, soul, strength, and mind? Yes, but it's a little different. Let me explain to you. We was taught when we came to God to give up a lot of things. Amen? Did you not hear give up drinking, give up gambling, give up this, give up that, right? And you still hear it. You still hear it. And it doesn't change you. Because you're trying with your might. You're trying, you're trying not to do something that you're accustomed to, that you're still one with. You can't stop. Can you tell a mother to stop being a mother? It's impossible. Come on, can you? You can't. You can't tell a fish stop swimming. Can't tell him to start running. That's his nature. Please not shun in. And we was taught this, give this up, give this up, go to church and pray. I will deal on your trial and kind of you're going to get a beautiful funeral. Church, it's only born again. Born again, new heart, new desire, new life in you. Where God directs your life. Where He is Lord. Where He is Master. See, I can't give up nothing. Because my flesh loves those things. That's, we're one with it. But when you're transformed, please, Ashunen, when you have that new nature, when you have that new heart, that new mind, then you can easily don't have desire or craving for those things. You see, salvation... It doesn't just do one thing, Kangaroo. Please ask you in. It does more than what we think. Salvation doesn't only save us from the penalty of sin. It saves us from the power of sin. Amen? Not that little sin I'm master anymore. But that little del amaro gazda. That little del amaro rais kapitori. 
And that's what God wants to be. He wants to be back on the throne in your life. Magugudos kami mag data kay saslis. How many of you, Chache, has been hearing the, the Spirit of God in your life? How many have truly been hearing the voice of God? When is the last time you heard the voice of God and you knew that it was God beyond a shadow of a doubt? Is the Spirit of God. It's going to take surrendering. I'm not telling you to surrender your sin, please. I'm not here to tell anybody how to live. I'm not here to tell you to give up anything. Because that doesn't work. It never does work. It's not going to work. I'm telling you right now, walk, surrender to God, and you will not have desire for sin. Please, Ashunen, walk, surrender to God, and you will not have desire to walk in the world. Walk, surrender to God, and you will be a child of God. All you got to do is surrender your life, not your ways. Let me tell you, that's religion. Pastors are very religious, telling you how to live. Oh, God tells me how to live. Surrender to God. Surrender your life. The Bible says you are not your own. You were bought and paid for with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. He paid for you. He ransomed us. I'm not my own. Heidi Sagwan. Heidi Sagwan. Last time I checked, nobody walks on water. We all make mistakes. Heidi Sagwan Ustas. Heimangas Kata Marodil. To be truly transformed. Not to look back again. To truly be touched by God, to be delivered. He directs my life. Chaches choir. Chaches Mogodil. We need you, Spirit of God. We need your direction, I guess. Now I time on God. Now I time on God.
you, Lord. Glory to you, Father. Soft choir. Congarillo, real soft choir. The Bible told that the Holy Spirit, He is a person. And today, He doesn't want you to remain the same. Please ask your name. There's points in our life that we have grieved Him. Please ask your name. Real soft choir. So many will grieve the Spirit, put out His fire. Where you can't hear his voice no more. Where he can't influence you no more because of the sin that is separating our relationship. And Kangario, if we can grieve him, please listen, if we can grieve him, we can't hear his voice no more. And we can't see the direction that he's taken us anymore. Chimotaldik, you're not saved because it's the spirit of only Christians can grieve the spirit of God. Only children of God can grieve the spirit of God. Please listen. And so man dujo, he wants to influence you totally. He wants to change our desires. Amen. He wants us to walk in the newness of life, to walk in the spirit of God. But that's not going to happen if there's something blocking that. If there's something blocking, if there's a there's there's a wall there right now. I so go di avogo do zudo di I don't know do how diljanis. Don't fear. Trust God. And surrender. Let the dunamis power of God destroy that wall in your life. Amen. Let him destroy that wall, that great separator. Because that separator is hindering you from being a great man and woman of God. God wants to take you in higher places. It's up to you today. All you got to do is trust God. Trust God today. Don't wait for next Sunday. Don't wait for something to happen in your life. It's happening today. The Bible says that, that the Spirit wants to stir that good gift in you. That gift that you put away. That gift that God wants to be used for His glory. And Numatu Janesso Sigodo and Numatu can give God glory for that. Don't let that wall separate you, whatever that is, right now. The, surrender to God and He'll do the rest. Amen. Surrender to God and He'll do the rest. Ask His help today. Let us pray. Let us pray right now. An act of surrenderance is lifting our hands. Lord Jesus, we surrender our ways, our thoughts, our desires, Mogodil. Amaregundria, Mogodil, Amarotrayo, Kaisiam, and Mogodil. Father, transform your church, Mogodil. Spirit of God, touch, deliver your church today. 
Lord, your word is active and powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword, piercing between joints and marrows into the very spirit of man. Today, Modil, regenerate, stir, Modil, the heart of man. Devla, spirit of God, we ask for a revival of holiness, a revival of holiness, Modil, a revival that pleases you, a revival of relationship, a revival of your word, a revival of prayer, Modil, a revival of faith, Modil, a revival of walking in your word, Mugodad. Father, not by might, not by power, but by and only adored by your spirit, Mugodil. We pray that your church would never be the same, Mugodil. Father, impact your church, Mugodil, that we would truly give up, Mugodil, the ways of the world and serve you, Father, by saying, Lord, I surrender all. Can you say that today from your heart? Can you say, Nanandomui, Barankuilo, Lord, I surrender all. Can you trust God? Can you truly trust God with your family, with your life? I guess, Lord, I surrender all. And if you surrender all, He is Lord of your life. The Spirit will lead you, the Spirit will guide you, the Spirit of God will hover in and through your life. I dealt to I took out to the things that you never seen before. You will see miracles, signs and wonders in your life again. People will see it. And God most of all will see it. Father, we pray in Jesus name. We thank you, Mugodad. Hai devla. Tela si war kun kate Mugodil. Kadiri lo tu tar devla. Ale papa le Mugodil as bale devla. Devla, I pray that they would understand reconciliation, Father that you died to reconcile your people so go to see so go deny devlas ba in jesus mighty name we pray i say kangrimoto amen and amen give god glory know that he's here today come on Give God glory. Amen. Amen. Silent to Maratana. God bless you. God bless you. You know, Nabistan Kangario. He is the helper, amen. Cry out when you need help. Don't think you could do it on your own. Last time I checked, we're children of God. Children need help. Amen. So cry out for the help. He's available. 
Thank you, Lord. Prayer request. Tides. Amen. Lisa and Joshua. See what anyone else. Amen. 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 Just tell a little deal in Jesus' name. Pimpali problem. All the lost souls. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mikey's family, peace. Amen. 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 Physical and spiritual. Amen. See what anyone else? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Saturday. Pray for Saturday. I'm sorry. Need some glasses. Amen. Frank. Oh, amen. God bless you. Amen. Healing. See what anyone else? Amen. 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 All young marriages. Let's pray for those young marriages. Amen. Who needs a financial blessing? Only four people? Well, you guys are doing good here in the Bay Area. <laughs> I came to the right place. <laughs> Praise God. Financial blessing on everyone. And we want to also make an announcement before we do tithes and offerings. I talked to Pastor Blazo today. God is really, really using him. He went to like five, six churches. And everywhere he went, people such as are being delivered because the word of God. Amen. Let's give glory to God. Amen. So he will be back, I believe, Friday or Saturday. So pastor's going to get ready to come back. He'll be here Sunday. So not be stunned. Tuesday, Bible studies. And new course, Holiness, Saturday night. And we got tithes and offerings. Well, we don't need a message about tithes and offerings. All we have to do is be obedient. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we give you glory and honor and thanks, Mordel. Father God, we thank you for the pasture, Mordad. The message, Mordad, to be edified to each and one of us here, Mordad. Father, now that we give to you, Mordad, to supply your ministry, Mordad, to support your house, Mordad, we ask, Mordad, that you would use this finance, Mordad, to increase, Mordad, this building, Mordad, to be used, Mordad, to glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen.
Spirit of God who brought you here, take you home safe. Philippians 1.6 says, he who begin the work will finish it. John de Vlesa, God is doing a mighty good work. Uh, back for Tuesday night Bible study and Thursday night service, 8.30. Oh, 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 oh,